and welcome to Tech 18. I am Mohammad Adnan and in this video we are going to discuss about what is the data ingestion methods available in Azure Data Factory or Azure Synapse Pipelines. So this is the sixth part of this series. If you haven't watched this first, second, third, fourth and fifth videos, please I recommend you to go and watch that video so that you can clearly understand this process of this uh, Azure Data Factory and Azure Synapse Pipeline. So moving on, before to that, if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Now let's get started. So basically in Azure Data Factory and Azure Synapse Pipelines, there are three methods of data ingestion, which are the first is the copy data. In copy data, you can do the ELT process, extract, load and transform with a code free, uh, almost no transformations we can do here. You can just extract, load and then do the transformation in the graphical interface itself with 100 plus connectors, we can connect to the different different data sources. And the next method is about the compute resources. So we can create a pipelines and with the help of Spark pool, we can make use of Azure Synapse Analytics also in order to transform the data and also do the further downstream processes with the help of other activities in Azure Data Factory. And the third one is SQL Server Integration Services, which is SSIS package. If you have an existing SSIS packages which you are running up on your on-prem server, you can just directly lift and shift those existing SSIS packages with minimal no change or just low change in your existing package and then you can run those packages in Azure Data Factory itself. For your information, this third one SSIS package is not available as of now in Azure Synapse Pipeline. It's only available in Azure Data Factory. So these are the three methods which we have of data ingestion in Azure Data Factory and Azure Synapse Pipelines. Even though these are the short video which I'm covering up here, but the main purpose of this one is to go through step by step in order to go into detail about that because this is not an easy tool so that you need to go step by step in order to fully understand how these things works. 